In this Exadata Cloud at Customer quick demo, we're going to be exploring the virtual cluster. As we enter into our Cloud at Customer GUI interface, we can see that we are in XACC5 VM1 compartment, and we have a virtual cluster XACC5 CLU1. We can see the number of VMs in this cluster. We can see the OCPUs available to us in this cluster. We can see that we have 1024 gigabyte of memory in this cluster. We have 48 terabyte of storage and the cluster was created on November 6th. We click on the three little dots and we get additional details. We can copy the OCID. We can move this virtual cluster to another compartment or we can add tags to this cluster and even terminate the cluster. Next, we'll drill down into XSCC5 cluster one. When we get in here, we see the details of the virtual cluster. We see the general information uh, and the other details. Along the top, we have the actions we can take on this cluster. We can scale up. We can change our license types from bring your own to licenses included in this case. We can add SSH keys. We can move the resource once again, and we can add tags or terminate the cluster. Looking in the detail section of this page, we see we have the general information, what kind of licenses, the OCID, the status of the cluster. We can see the VM resource uh, allocation, VM cluster resource allocation, the OCPUs and memory. You can see that Exadata snapshots are, are enabled. We see that storage for local backups is not enabled. If it was, we'd be able to do local backups to disk groups. We see the Exadata infrastructure where this virtual cluster resides so that OSC SCA XSCC5 is a physical rack. We can see the virtual network components. This is the IP configuration for the Exadata environment. And then we can see the grid infrastructure and what version we're running for grid infrastructure and if there would be any patches we could drill down there. Scrolling down, we can see that we have a number of databases created within this virtual cluster. Uh, we can see that we have many different databases, their availability, the version that they're running, what kind of database that has been created. If we click on database homes, we can see the database homes that we have allocated in this virtual cluster, the version number of that home and what their date with creation was. We can see what the virtual machine host names are for this virtual cluster and their status. Uh, and as always, for these different targets, we can look at the three little dots and see what options we have for those. In this case, it's stop and reboot. Finally, we can look at the work request for this virtual cluster and see the activity uh, in the recent activity for this virtual cluster. And you can see in this case, there's many different things that's happened in the last 24 hours. So this is a way to explore the virtual cluster. Once again, you can drill down into these things and look at each one of these components within the virtual cluster in more detail. So as this case, we clicked on the database and we drilled down into the database to inspect it. So this concludes our Exadata quick demo for exploring the virtual cluster in Exadata Cloud at Customer.